Hi there, it's Kaylee from Crochet Unraveled and today I wanted to teach you the top five crochet stitches that when you learn these you will be able to crochet just about anything. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll do a quick tort tortulio. <laughs> I'll do a quick tutorial on each of the stitches um, just to refresh your memory or kind of get you up to speed if you haven't learned them yet but I really suggest that you do memorize these stitches as well as their abbreviations. So when you see the abbreviations in a pattern, you will know uh, what stitch you're supposed to be doing. So the first absolutely necessary stitch that you should learn is the chain stitch. And this is used as the foundation of a lot of projects where you are crocheting in rows. So the first thing that you're going to do is crochet a chain and then the rest of your stitches will be crocheted into the stitches of that chain and you're just going to go back the other direction and then continue going back and forth. So here is how to crochet a chain. If you haven't already learned how to make a slip knot, then I suggest you go watch that video first. And once you have made your slip knot, we'll start from that point and I'll show you how to crochet a chain. Okay, so here's my slip knot. And I'm just going to insert my hook. I'm going to yarn over. So that means you're taking the yarn from the far side of the hook over the top to the close side and then you're going to grab onto that loop that yarn over that you just created and pull that loop through your slip knot and that is your very first chain so to continue chaining you're just going to repeat those steps so yarn over this time you're going to pull that yarn over loop through the previous loop that you put on your hook as opposed to the slip knot. Let's try it again. Yarn over. And you can see that I'm turning my hook. That helps me to grab the yarn and then I'm just going to pull it through this little, do you see that open space there? You should have enough room to bring the head of your hook through that open space to create your chain. I'm just going to do a few more and then I will demonstrate our next important crochet stitch. So. I said you need to learn the abbreviations for these stitches in order to be able to identify them in a pattern. So the chain stitch is abbreviated as the letters CH. So if a pattern says CH, a lot of times they'll put a period because it's an abbreviation. So if it says CH 50, that means you make a slip knot and then you chain 50. So one, two, three, etc. Okay, so the next stitch I'm going to suggest that you learn is the single crochet stitch. And we're going to start doing our single crochet stitch into this chain that we made. Really handy that we already have the chain here. And when you are reading patterns, it will specify which stitch you're supposed to um, insert your hook into to do your whichever stitch that you're doing. Hopefully that makes sense. But for example, we're doing a single crochet stitch. So the pattern might say single crochet one in the second chain from the hook. So we're going to count one. This is the first chain from the hook and then two. So we're going to do our first single crochet into this hook or into this stitch. So all I'm going to do is just insert my hook. There are different ways that you can insert your hook, but this is kind of the easiest I find. 
So just leave that one loop below your hook, insert, and then you're going to do another yarn over like we did for the chain. Turn your hook, pull up a loop like we did before, but this time we have two loops on our hook. So to finish the single crochet, you're going to yarn over again, and then you're going to turn your hook and grab that loop and pull it through both of the loops that are on your hook. And this right here, that's your first single crochet stitch. Let's go ahead and try another one. So this time we're going to just go into the next chain, which is this one right here. So insert your hook, yarn over, turn your hook and grab that loop, pulling it up. So you have two loops on your hook. Now go ahead and yarn over again and pull loop through both of those loops that are on your hook. And there's your second single crochet. I'm just going to keep going with this. You can follow along or you can just watch. So the abbreviation for single crochet in patterns is the letters SC. So I'm not sure how many chains we'll have which will determine how many single crochets that we have. But let's say we had we chained 13, for example. The first thing we did was skip that first chain from the hook. And we're just going to do a single crochet in each of the chains that we crocheted from then from that point on. So that would leave us with 12 single crochets. So patterns might word it a little bit differently, but a lot of times it will say SC12. And that means you put one single crochet into the next 12 chains. Now again, I'm not sure how many <laughs> I chained here, I didn't count, but that is just an example so you can kind of figure out what your pattern is trying to tell you. Sometimes they'll go the other way or they'll phrase it differently and they'll say 12 single crochets. And it all just depends on what your pattern says. A lot of times at the beginning of the pattern in the description, they will tell you how they're wording their instructions and you just have to follow it that way because sometimes patterns will ask you to do multiple stitches into the chain or stitch below. Say, sometimes it will say three double crochets in next stitch. So in that case, you wouldn't want to do, or you wouldn't be doing one, two, three. You would be doing all three stitches by inserting your hook into that, that stitch that it specifies. Okay, so we are on to our third crochet stitch that is vital to learn, and that is the half double crochet stitch. And the first thing that we're going to do is go back to the chain stitch that we were doing before. And in order to start our new row, which will be going back this direction, we want to get our yarn up to the right height to start doing our half double crochet stitches. So what I'm going to do, I like to do kind of a looser chain and I just chain one here and that's my preference. I find that it keeps the edges nice and straight when I do that. Some people do like to chain two there, but I just like one. So we chained one and all we're going to do now is just flip our work. So now you are on the back or what's called the wrong side. And we're going to start our first half of double crochet right into this single crochet stitch from the row below. Okay. 
So the first step that we're going to do is yarn over, just like we've done before. Now insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over again, and then pull up a loop. Now you can see that you have three loops on your hook. And the next thing you're going to do is just yarn over again. And this is easy. You just pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is your first half double crochet. Let's try another one. So first step, remember what it is? Yarn over insert your hook into the stitch below, yarn over again, pull up a loop, so there are three on your hook, yarn over again, and then pull through all three loops that are on your hook. Let's just keep going to the end of the row. So this is the half double crochet. Can you guess what the abbreviation is for it? This one is HDC. And I do want you to keep in mind that I use US terms for crocheting. UK terms are different and I don't have them all memorized. <laughs> but for instance, a single crochet in US terms is called a double crochet in UK terms. So you basically just add one, I guess. Um, I find it confusing. I think the US terms make a lot more sense, but sometimes you will run into the whichever set of terms you're not comfortable with while you're crocheting a pattern and you just have to make sure that you know which set of terms that the pattern is using and you can look up a chart online which will tell you um, what each of the stitches are if that makes sense so like i said single crochet in us is double crochet in uk so that's how you do that so that was the third stitch that i think is really really important to learn. Now we're going to move on to the double crochet, which is stitch number four. And what we're going to do to get up to the right height for that is chain two. I like to chain two kind of tightly because like I said, that will help to keep your edges straight when you have a little bit less um, yarn, I guess, on the edge. If you do chain too loosely or if some people do chain three, which I don't like <laughs> personally, you will often find that those chains start to bow out to the side, making your edges really wobbly and wonky. So I like to chain two tightly for double crochets. And then you're going to do the same exact thing. You just flip your work shoop, over to go the other direction. And we will begin our first double crochet in this first stitch right here. So this is very similar to half double crochet. You're going to yarn over first, insert your hook, yarn over again, then pull up a loop. And again, you have three loops on your hook, just like in the half double crochet, but here's where it gets a little bit different. You're going to yarn over and then instead of pulling through all three like we did in half double crochet you're just going to pull through those first two loops and now you have two more loops left so you're going to yarn over one more time and pull through those last two loops and this this right here is your first double crochet so let's try that again. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, 
pull up a loop, yarn over again, <laughs> pull through those first two, and then yarn over one more time and pull through the last two loops. Let's just keep going and you can follow along if you're practicing. Sorry if that was kind of fast. Yarn over again. Pull through two. Yarn over again and pull through those last two. So I bet you can guess what the abbreviation for double crochet is. It's just DC, and that's US terms. In UK terms, they call it a treble crochet, and so the abbreviation is TR, actually. So just keep that in mind. It's not rocket science. Double crochet is DC, half double crochet is HDC, and single crochet is SC, and then the first one we learned, which was the chain, that's CH. So don't get overwhelmed by the abbreviations. That's why I want you to learn what the stitches are, what they're called, and then intuitively you will just know what the abbreviations should be. So let me just finish up this row really quickly here, and then we will move on to our last stitch of the day, which we've done single, we've done half double, We've done double, what do you think is next? <laughs> it is the triple crochet, which some people call treble crochet. I like calling it triple, just makes more sense to me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and learn triple crochet now, which the abbreviation is TR, because I guess just one has to be different. What we're going to do to start our row is chain three. And I do like to chain the three tightly. And you've probably noticed, but each new stitch that I'm teaching you kind of adds a little bit of an extra step to it. And those extra steps add a little bit of height. So that is why we are chaining different amounts for the beginning of each row. Each of these stitches are just a little, they're shaped differently. So this is our single crochet row down here. It's really tight together. You don't see much space in between those stitches and it's a lot shorter. Half double crochet is a little taller and you start to see some little air, air pockets in between those stitches. And then double crochet, it is almost about the same height as the single and half double together and you are starting to see more air, more little spaces in between the stitches. So for triple crochet, it's the same thing. So we're going to start our row by chaining three, and then go ahead and turn your work over. And this one is gonna start a little bit differently. So instead of just yarning over once, yarning over, is that a verb? <laughs> Instead of just doing one yarn over, we're going to do two. So you know how to do one. Now just wrap it all the way around again. And you'll start with the three loops on your hook. We're gonna insert into that first double crochet from the row before, and then yarn over, pull up a loop. This time you will have four loops on your hook because you started with three, and then you just inserted your hook, and with that yarn over, you added one more. Okay, this part will be familiar. So yarn over again, pull through those first two loops. Now you're left with three. So you're going to yarn over again, pull through the next two loops, yarn over one last time, and pull through those last two loops. There is your first triple or treble <laughs> crochet. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bit taller than the double crochet stitches down there. So let's try that again. It, 
it's not always my favorite stitch to do just because it's a little awkward with those two yarn overs at the beginning. So let's do one yarn over and then go all the way back around for two. Make sure you have three loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through the next two, then yarn over the last time and pull through those last two stitches. I hope you are starting to get the hang of these stitches. If not, that's why we just buy cheap yarn <laughs> and just go crazy. Start practicing everything, write down the stitch names, their abbreviations, and if you want to write down instructions for yourself on how to do each stitch. For instance, for chain, it would be yarn over and pull through loop. For double crochet, it's yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Something like that. Then you'll have it as a little reference guide for yourself, but you can always come back to this video and skip to the spart, spart, and skip to the, the spot that has the stitch that you're looking for. So I'm just going to finish up this row here. And you can keep practicing if you mess up. Remember, it's really easy easy to pull out crochet and start from a different spot. So say let's, we made a mistake right there and we have to go back a few stitches. Uh oh, <laughs> no problem. You just pull up your loop again, if that happens, insert your hook and you're ready to go again. That's what I love about crochet. I still am a novice knitter. So I'm not exactly sure how <laughs> to undo my mistakes in knitting, but crochet, it's easy. You don't really lose anything. You can't drop stitches with crochet. Um, if you mess up, you just, you just pull it out to where you need to go and you can try again. So I, I really love that about crochet. So if you haven't watched some of my other videos, I would really suggest that you watch how to make a slip knot, how to hold your yarn, how to hold your crochet hook, and make sure that you watch my video on how to control your tension and keep your tension consistent. Um, I will link to those either up above in this video or down below in the description. You can also just go to my YouTube channel and find those videos to watch and there are tons more tutorials and there will be more and more coming out so just make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already um i'm here to help i love crocheting and i would love for you to subscribe to my channel and for you to become part of this community because it's just there's nothing like it on the internet everyone is so positive and helpful and wants to see you succeed so and that's that includes me so i really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it those were the top five stitches that you need to learn in order to crochet anything now you can go on and you can learn how to read a pattern you can start making things if you feel comfortable and confident and like you have some nice consistent tension and I think that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back in the next video.